Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing something very different than I normally do. Today I'm going to be answering your questions from YouTube and Discord and Instagram and all those other platforms and kind of trying to get to know each other better. Now some of you have been very nice in your questions and comments and others of you have been absolutely brutal. So we're going to work our way through these. Sorry if this is a boring video. I've been very, very busy with other projects. We'll be back to our regularly scheduled programs very soon. So I'm going to jump on here and uh, check out some of the comments you guys have left and answer some of your questions. Here we go. This comes from Chad Zabo. Zabo. Not sure how to say your last name. Sorry if I butcher some of your names. That's going to be a given. It says, hey, I'm having a problem with my U-Force in one mesh coil not saturating juice properly. If I open the juice import slot on the top and close it, I can literally see uh, the cotton soak up the juice, but then after a few hits, it's back to dry. Uh, I don't know if it's because I dropped the tank and broke it. I uh, decided to go with the Freemax Fire Luke mesh coils. I got both the single and double, which one do you prefer more? Okay, so right off the bat, it, it's it's well known that I hate the U-Force tank. Not a fan of it whatsoever. The only good thing it has going for it is that you can use the mesh cools from the Fire Luke tank in it. That's the only thing that's going for it. Um, I haven't had any luck whatsoever with that tank. Um, it, it ruins coils really really quickly uh, I can't get good flavor out of that tank it's it's insane it just sits on my shelf and I never I never use that tank but um, I do prefer the single mesh coils that's what I use in this fire Luke mesh tank here um, I prefer the singles um, sometimes I'll use the doubles but the doubles don't seem to last as long as the single coils um, just just for me um, are the Freemax coils compatible with the U-Force tank? Yes, yes they are, Viking. <laughs> this is, um, I, I tried rainbow nuggets from Rip Trippers, and Rob says, Looper tastes like when you wipe your ass with Fruit Loops, when you throw it in a cardboard box for a week, then you eat it. Um, I disagree. I love Looper. I think Looper is a fantastic e juice. Um, yeah. Thanks, Rob. Um, Erica, Ericky, nice mod shit RDA for the Snow Wolf. I completely agree. Sorry, I got a new dog, and we're gonna get to those type of questions. I got a new puppy, and he is barking at my German Shepherd. So, Cerebrus Tank, Cerebrus Tank, however you want to say it, from Buddy Goudreau. I get about a week on one coil then dry hits. I would agree with that. Um, actually, it depends on the juice that you're using and the wattage that you're running that coil at. But most of the time in that tank, I can normally get about a week out of those coils and that's that's gonna be it. All right, so this is from the same video. Um, this is Vaping Fanatic. It doesn't say Fruity Pebbles, so why compare it? It just says Fruity Cereal. So let's not say the wrong shit. Um, the problem with that is, is if you hear it from Rip Trippers himself, he says Fruity Pebbles. And it's got Fruity Pebbles and ice cream on the label, like the cereal Fruity Pebbles there. Um, so if he's, if it's not advertising towards that flavor, then maybe they need to put a couple different cereals on there, maybe. Maybe. Um... Okay, guys, I, I have to address this. In the um, in my review of the Cerebrus tank, I didn't open it. I didn't take the coil out, and that's because I already had juice in there. The coil was all wet and saturated, so I didn't take it out. A lot of you have complained about that. Now, with that being said, I think I have two videos where I didn't take the coil out. Um, from now on, I will show you here on out how to take the coil out of every tank. Um, that was just laziness on, on my part. Um, but Geo Felix, I want to change my coil, but I can't open it. 
Um, there's a lot of ways to open. Essentially just untrue the bottom, grab the coil with your hands or sometimes a tool. Some tanks actually come with tools. You just turn that coil to the left and it comes right out. That's gonna work with 98% of sub-ohm tanks. It's unscrew it, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty, turn left, get the coil, turn it, that coil is gonna come out, you put the new one down in there and you're done. A couple sub-ohm tanks out there actually have um, reverse threading, but that's, that's very, very rare. Uh, same video. This is from Powdered Toastman. Uh, can't fucking, can't stand this fucking tank. Douche at the vape shop recommended it and I regret taking his word. Garbage tank leaks in absolute horror. Replace uh, the coils. Fuck this thing. Stay away from it. That is, that is intense. Now I do have to say that comment is left on. That is my largest viewed video to date. And uh, there's a lot of mixed reviews. That tank is a pretty good tank, I would say, but um, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the coils, and a lot of people either love it or hate it. it it's pretty crazy. The Drag Nano Pod System, this comes from Mr. Amara619. Can you use salt nick liquid on it? Um, yes, you can actually. It comes with two coils, and one of the coils is specifically for salt nicotine. You'll see it in the box, and it explains it there. James Blake, every time I get a new coil for the Vupu Drag Mini 2, it spits up and leaks hella bad. Um, that could be a coil, juice, or user error. Um, you're priming that coil, how long you're letting it sit before you actually vape on it. Um, the actual wattage that you're vaping that at, and uh, yeah, like I don't personally have the mini. I don't have a lot of the minis. Mark Bonner um, on the Cerebrus tank. How wide is the base of the tank? It is 27 millimeters, I do believe. I don't have it in front of me currently, so I'm just shooting in the dark at that point. But I think it's either 25 or 27, but I think it's 27. Um, thanks, I know how to change my cool on the Aegis Vape. Huge fan of the Aegis Vape. Okay, Vaping 101. This is a video I did on the basics of an RDA. And, uh, Thrake King? Three? Ake King. Uh, I'm so confused. People are saying check Ohm's Law and stuff, and I absolutely don't understand. I have a video coming out very soon on Ohm's Law and explaining all of it, and yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully we can explain it to where you understand it very well. Steve Crazy PN commented and said, we priming these coils or what, boss? Question mark? Question mark. Um, yes, I always prime my coils, no matter the... The system, if it's pod system, sub ohm system, I'm actually building my own coils, anything like that. I always, always prime my coils. Um, sometimes I don't put them in the video of me priming the coils just because that's kind of boring and trying to save on time, honestly, but I'm always priming my coils. Thanks for the comment. Um, when I'm vaping, I get a lot of e-liquid in my mouth. I don't know what the problem is. I checked a lot of YouTube videos and did everything. Still, I get a lot of liquid when I vape. This is from Mahand Alarif. Uh, sorry if I butchered that name. That's a tough one. Um, okay, so a lot. once again, a lot of things come into this. Um, it could be the juice that you're using, how much you're priming that coil. Um, if you're dripping way too much in the center of that coil, it's gonna spit that juice up. Um, just be very, very cautious whenever you are priming the coil. You don't want to put too much in there. And if you, um, if your PG and VG amounts are way off, like for the coil that you're using, then it's just going to run straight through that cotton and you're going to get a mouthful of juice every time. So you want to, uh, you want to check that out. Um, oh, who won the giveaway? Um, so ends up a guy in. Tennessee ended up winning that. I've gotten in touch with him and it's in the mail. So you should be getting it very soon. I'm not going to say his name on here for privacy reasons, but yeah, he won it. Kevin B 
Beaufort. I'm in the Philippines. Can vape trick deliver to my country? I don't know the answer to that. I don't work with or for vape trick, so I don't know. Maybe reach out to them and see what they say. Possibly. Uh, mad chatter. Okay, I'm new to all this. I've been using an Aegis with uh, this tank at 16 to 20 watts and up to 30 watts. When I do tricks, cause I'm using less watts, my coil should last longer, right? Um, that's on the Cerebrus tank. Um, th that's a tricky subject. Um, yes, normally whenever you are using lower wattages, the coils will last longer, but it takes a lot into consideration. Um, how long you're running that coil because you said that you're doing tricks with it, what juice you're running in that coil, and uh, yeah, like longer is very, it can go up and down because coils aren't perfect. I've had two coils come out of the same pack and one last a day and another last a month. So it's, uh, yeah. Um, Paul Fuller Drum Study. It's on Pineapple Express. That was that was one that kicked me in the throat, but it was very good, very good. The smell is good and the taste is semi-gross. I'm gonna give it away. Uh, you might like it if you might like it if you like the fruits, honeydew, and cantaloupe, not the vape juice flavor of honeydew. Um, it's got a funk to it. Some puking emojis. Um, Pineapple Express is one of those that you're either gonna love or hate. Um, Bone Miz, do you need an ID for Element Vape? Um, I don't believe you do. I've never had to put that in, never had to put my ID in. You have to have a credit card to order with, and you have to put in your birth date to prove that you are of age. If you're underage, please do not order from Element Vape. I, no, that's just where I get the majority of my things, unless they're sent to me for review. Anything that I buy comes from Element Vape. Eric Bogue, you didn't even show how to change the coil. It took me forever to figure out my first coil change for me. Well, Eric, welcome to the community. I'm so sorry that I didn't show you how to do that, but uh, it's very, very simple. The base unscrews, spin to the left, grab that coil. Spin that bottom to the left and it's gonna come out and then you just put the new one back in there. It's very, very simple. Check out any of my other videos. Um, the majority of them, I show you how to replace the coil. So yeah, um, this is a new one. I haven't seen this one yet. Pressurize um, on the Cerebrus tank said, how to fuck do you change the coil dumbass? How to fuck? Do you change the cool dumbass? Um, well, pressurize. Um, I've explained it multiple times in this video, but 98% uh, of sub ohm tanks, the coal comes out the exact same way. So if you're new, spin it to the left, it should come out. If you're not new to vaping and you've been doing this a while and you just don't know how to do it on this tank, um, unscrew the tool, dumbass. Maybe sometimes it's in there tight, you gotta use a tool. If not, uh, use your hands or a towel. Most of the time that works. I love Aero Tanks. This comes from Mona Kyle. I love Aero Tanks but cannot find them anywhere. I would have, I would even, buy used ones if they don't leak. Please help me find them. Um, Mona, I've been having a hard time finding that tank as well. Um, I believe that that one came on my Nova kit right here, um, but I haven't been able to find it or coils for it here recently. If I find a link, I will leave it on your comment. Um, this is from Tesla Two Thirds. Um, is it a hex home replacement? Connor Forrester, I'm new, I just got a vape and this one looks sick. Thanks, man. Um, I'm not sure if you're talking about the Hexome or the Tesla, but uh, the Hexome is absolutely one of my most favorite mods that I have. Um, always right 82. Serious question, do you have Asperger's? 
Um, no, I do not have Asperger's. Um, I don't have anything in that. Why would you ask that? Um, also, lost way down in here, I've had comments saying that I look like multiple different people, and uh, I disagree with all of them. So, if you said I look like someone, I promise it's not the first time I've heard it, and I disagree. Um, okay, so now we're going to switch over to Instagram. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, thank you for all your comments and your follow. Um, if you don't, go check me out. Uh, it's Tanner underscore underscore Watson. Follow me on Firework, get on my Discord chat, and all of that good stuff. Links will be down below. I love the picture of your dog. How many dogs do you have? I have two dogs. I have a German Shepherd, and I just got a puppy. It's a Doberman Pinscher mix. I also have a cat, a black cat. He's a little shit. Will you shoot my wedding? Yes. Yeah. Um, just get in touch with me. You can message me through my website for photography. You can message me on Instagram, and we can work it out. And, uh, yeah, just depends on what all you're wanting, and, yeah, we can make that happen. Um, photography's mostly what I do, and then video comes after that. And yeah, then vape me. Yeah. Are you coming to California soon? Um, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, I just took a big trip through Europe and kind of trying to recover from that, and then hopefully I'll be coming to California in the next couple of months. Um, I'm not sure where in California you are, but, uh, yeah, I'll be in, like, the L.A. area. Yeah. Soon. Soon. All right, guys. Um, this Q&A and response video went on a lot longer than I wanted it to and a lot longer than I thought it would. So, uh, thank you for all your comments and your subscriptions. Um, if you're not subscribed, think about subscribing. It just helps my channel get a little bit bigger and help me get out there. Um, thanks for your comments, even if you think I'm an asshole or ugly or all the other things that you called me. Um, loyal subscribers, thank you. Um, please think about checking out my firework. I just started on there. I haven't, I'm not doing any vape stuff on there. Um, it's mostly camera tutorials and stuff like that. A um, couple skits, things like that, and that's growing daily. Please check it out. The link will be in the top of the description right below there. Other than that, check me out on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.